I'm Thaddeus Tikal. I'm an artist with Povo. I do a lot of acrylic painting, watercolor, and uh, I also do a lot of stuff with uh, crayons on cardboard packaging. I do silk screen, I do airbrush. Uh, yeah, I do, I, that's what I do art now. I don't do anything else really. I don't do as much like representational kind of art. I'm not trying to make like objects. It's more feeling kind of stuff. People don't really understand my images, but that's okay too. I mean, because it's more about me making it. I don't know if it means anything to anybody as much as it does to me. I went to school, the Art Institute of Chicago, and I got diagnosed with schizophrenia. I had a good job after art school. I was married, and my wife had multiple sclerosis, and uh, it was definitely schizophrenia that ended my marriage. And you know, I had a few jobs, did, did all kinds of things. I, a couple of years, it was blurred. I was on so much medication. They switched my medication to something that did, did not work, and I uh, ended up where I, I was living at Wilson's Men's Club. It was kind of a rough place. A lot of drinking and drugs there uh, and violence. Uh, I did okay until like I got really paranoid and ended up getting in a altercation with another person living there. So we got kicked out and ended up living in the park and uh, a lot of violence in the park and cold. People look out for each other in a different ways uh, when you're homeless. You see the best and the worst of what humans are. When I'm making art, all that verbal stuff shuts down. And that's the only time I can. That's why I make art so much. Is it's a, it's a coping mechanism. When I can get in, absorbed into it, uh, all that shuts down, and I'm just painting. I want to channel what anxieties or energies or anything I have into making things, rather than you know putting people down or fighting or arguing or blowing up Second Avenue kind of stuff. You know when they give me pills that clamp that down, it, it shuts everything else down too. Uh, and I can't function at all as a human being. The best thing about Pova is, is I think every one of us here has very, very different ideas about art and life. We agree on very little as, as members, you know, and I, I think that's wonderful. That's great that there's so many voices, so many different kinds of people. You know, we have similar experiences, especially homeless. You know, not everybody here is mentally ill or, or whatever, but, you know, we have different reasons. But, you know, uh, at one point or another, we ended up in the same condition. Sometimes it's hard to listen or, or painful. But uh, I learned from the people here.